Hey guys, this is Scogs103 coming from Civic College in Essex. Um, just a recap, Jason Lee nearly finished with the uh, Day at Devil. Uh, I've had, I haven't had a lot of time since I finished college to finish the go kart since I've been uh, uh, working, uh, earning money for holidays really, which will soon be on my site as well. Uh, I just want to, you know, bring through what I've done just today. I've uh, bought the, um, well not the clutch, but I bought the sprocket. I've uh, welded it on uh, from the previous one because it, it didn't hurt, it was different, I couldn't fit it on properly. But yeah, um, <laughs> I've pretty much budged it, but hopefully it will hold, it's it's pretty rigid on there right now. Um, Dave Croy has really been helpful and he's uh, laved it, so uh, the clutch actually uh, stays on there, it's not going to come off. I've lined it up with the uh, chain, it's pretty good, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty straight. It's not going to come off anytime soon. Uh, the only problem I've had today was the brakes. Obviously, something seized up, and uh, the spring's gone in the yeah, brakes. So I've got to get that the uh, the block actually blown drying out to get anything any of the gunk that's come out, just so I can get the brakes working again. If not, I have to get a new brake you know, alignment. So uh, basically, all I've got to do now is weld the uh, <coughs> and supports where the um, where the accelerate the pedal and the brake pedal will go. Just line it up to the brake and weld a, a piece for the brake to kind of sit on. Uh, put the chain on and uh, well, give it a go. You know, give it a little test run. So uh, just give you a little angles. The steering at the moment it only works when there's you know someone sitting there. Otherwise it just looks a bit cockeyed. I need to still have a look at it. But apart from that, you know, it's taken me a good five or six months to uh, get to this stage in the process you know I'm you know a couple more hours and I'll be finished I just want to say to people that want to try you know this this um this project for their their course you know you've got to have so much spare time on your hands otherwise it's going to come you know it's not going to look as good it's not it's going to look horrible you're always going to have complications things that are going to go wrong things that aren't always as um as the plans have said, because you know I had to extend mine, and that took quite a while. Especially, as you can see here, you know I had to just redesign the um, that bit. So because um, otherwise it would have cracked, uh, smashed onto these. You know it would have bent, and it wouldn't have looked as nice. But yeah, just lots of spare time. You've got to have a lot of commitment to do it. Otherwise, it's going to fall flat on your face, and you're going to end up with. You know, half a half a chassis and wasting about three, four hundred pounds. So, you know, good luck to anyone who wants to try it, and uh, well done to anyone who has completed it. I'll be soon uh, posting videos up about you know the first test drive. So uh, keep an eye on my page for that, and all the other videos that come along. You know, I've got I'm going Magaluf in four days, so I have a lot of videos about that, lots of pictures. I'll keep you updated about that. Um, if you want to follow me on Facebook, James Scogins, who searched that, and uh, yeah, I'll be happy to add you. Apart from that, that's all I've got time for. I'll speak to you soon.